morning chaps so we're in today just briefly want to check how this has held up overnight fingers are firmly crossed that uh, we don't hear any cracking or creaking when we take the braces off the clamps off and number two uh, there's that much to do for the new pub, I, uh, I need to do multiple jobs at once and one of the jobs that we need to be cracking on with is either buying or making the lighting so uh, for, you know for all the way through the pub. So one of the ideas I've got is of a glass chandelier for the stairs made out of gin and uh, whiskey bottles with like the pendant lights inside. Oh god this is tight. So Gemma's just gone over to Screw Fix to buy a glass cutter. I did have one, but I can't can't lay my hands on it for some reason. So she'll go and pick us up a glass cutter today, and then when she comes back, we're going to shoot home and uh, see if we can cut the bottoms off of some of the bottles that we've saved uh, using several other techniques that I've already found on YouTube this morning. Basically, glass cutter, hot water, cold water. So fingers crossed. But first, let's have a look at this. So, I'll loosen this one. That's come off nicely. Good, good, good. As has that one. Why you little beauty? Well I'm over the moon with that. There's a crack here to fill in with some resin. Other than that, it's pretty damn smart. So See if she stands up. Oh, you little beauty. So you can see that the glue has oozed out all the way along the bottom. It looks like it's taken. So just under here, I'll use the hammer for this, not my spirit level. There we go. So on the bottom, I think what I'm going to do is just trim this off with a razor blade and then on the top. We'll run the plane over it and just see exactly how it's finished. So looking at the joint in more detail, I can see that it's closed up along 90% of the, the join. And if we zoom right in, try and get a nice focus on there. You struggle to find where the joint is unless you actually know. There it is, look. You see, just along there. You can almost see the contrasting colour of the timber. So the joint just runs up here. And there's a good opportunity to see two different sides of the joint. But if you didn't know it was there, I think you'd struggle to find it. And where it has opened up, it's just little places like this, which I think, well, I'm not too concerned about that. We'll be able to just, uh, I think the finish will fill that in. Or maybe a little bit of resin or something like that. And uh, once it's sanded and finished, I don't think anyone will be any the wiser. So there we go. We've got a lovely back bar now, ready to be installed sometime next week. Wonderful. Right, so we've got some bottles to experiment on when we get home this afternoon. And uh, Gemma's fetched me some bits of cable and stuff to turn them into lights. And I've also made, just quickly, a little bottle cutting jig to place the bottles in and rotate them while we cut. Right, let's get off home, love. So that's cap on for me, but that's all I've got time for this afternoon. So uh, we'll see you tomorrow.